Hello and welcome to Advent Adventures, or I should say Christmas Adventures. Uh, today is January 2nd, Tuesday in the season of Christmas. Um, today happens to be the memorial of, of St. Basil and Gregory, who were both bishops and doctors of the church. Um, the first reading today comes from the Common of Pastors, from St. Paul's letter to the Ephesians chapter 4. And it reads, I, a prisoner of the Lord, urge you to live in a manner worthy of the call that you have received, with all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another through love, and striving to preserve the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace. When I reflected on that particular reading today, it reminded me of a good friend of mine, somebody that passed away in 2013. His name was Ray Lenz. Um, Ray was a member of St. John and Fenton, and he and his wife Sheila were a part of my youth ministry team when I served there one of my ATPs, an adult-type person that I used to like to call them. Ray and Sheila and the kids, uh, you know, were very active in the program. They went on many trips, adventures, uh, retreats, uh, mission trips. Um, we're always present just to serve and just to help out. Ray was just a, a genuine person. And, you know, like I said, when I reflected on this reading, the person that came to mind was Ray especially when I read the words humility and gentleness, patience, and just striving to preserve the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace. And that was at the heart of who Ray Lenz was and what he was about and how he lived his life. At his passing, uh, one of his friends said of him, it's not often that you meet a man that can balance a perfect spiritual focus within a lifetime. I hold a high regard for Ray's commitment to church, family, and finding just the right way to handle problems and joy alike. Ray was the epitome of faith, family, and peace. You know, I always admired how he handled life and, you know, just, uh, you know, how he, you know, lived his life as a husband, as a father, and just as a faith-filled follower of Christ. And, you know, you know, I was around him in many different situations, and you know what? He was around me. And he always just handled things with that sense of humility and, and patience like no one else could ever do. Now, Ray was just a, a spirit of joy to always be around. You know, and there are some things that Ray and I didn't always see eye to eye on. All right, he had a passion for this sports team. I had a passion for that one. He had a passion for this, this way of politics. I had a passion for this one. But you would never know that because you know what? He had such great patience. He listened and we shared and we just grew in relationship together. You now, Ray has inspired me in so many ways and he still continues to inspire me. You know, when I again reflected on that reading, you know, I could think of no one else. Ray Lenz, you were the true gift to my life. You were a true gift to my life by showing me what humility and gentleness was all about, what patience was all about, what bringing peace to others was all about. So as you continue through your Christmas season, this Christmas journey, this Advent adventure, um, I hope you can reflect and think about maybe that person in your life that showed you humility, that showed you gentleness, and how that brings peace into our lives. Thank you, Ray, and continue your Christmas adventure, your Advent adventure.